What's good, fam? This your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, I'm going to show you my Ableton Live and MPC workflow. So let's begin. First, I have a MIDI track open on Ableton. Just click in here and just say insert MIDI track. Once I have a MIDI track inserted, go to your plugins. Go to where it says Akai Professional. Grab your MPC and drag it to that MIDI track. Easy squeezy. Now, I would just load up a beat. I'm just going to load up any beat from the... I'm going to go to sequences, boom bap. I'm going to use this beat called Snakey. If I'm not mistaken, it uses all 16 sounds from Bank A. But let's, okay, make sure your tempo is right. All right, so I'm going to show you how to track this out, okay? Once you have your MPC, uh, your MIDI track with your MPC, set up another audio, set up an audio track. Go to the external, where it says external in. Go to where it says MPC, click that. Right beneath MPC, it'll say post mixer. Click that and go to outputs three and four or your MPC. Now, what we're going to do is, oops, sorry. We're going to take, make sure you're on pad channel first. We're going to take each one of these sounds, A, A1 through A16, excuse me, and we're going to route them into Ableton. Okay, so you can hear it and see the tracks moving on Ableton. This way you can use the effects that Ableton gives you also instead of just using the effects that the MPC gives you, which is a big bonus. Or you can use the effects, you have your VST effects too, you know what I mean? But um, but definitely the, the big enhancement is that you can use the Ableton effects, all right? So, I'm going to click each sound, starting with the kick. I'm going to go to where the... Uh, where it's output to, it usually outputs to the program and the program outputs to the MPC. But we're gonna cut all, cut all that out right now. We're gonna go to program, go to stereo output, three and four. So now the kick should be playing on, uh, first let me make sure the monitor's in. That's how it works. Now, if I hit play, the kick, you should see the kick register here. Exactly. Okay. So now we're going to make some more audio channels and have all the sounds routed to from the MPC into Ableton. So what I like to do is just, why I have this all set up properly here, just go here and uh, hit duplicate or C command D. And then just change this to outputs to five and six. And you keep doing this all the way through. Let me get rid of the stuff I don't need right here. All right, so. You know what? Give me one second because the way my setup is right now is kind of awkward. My body's all tilted and stuff. So give me a second to, to you're going to see me fixing all of these up so it's going to track out, okay? So just watch what I'm doing.
All right, just give me another second. I ain't forget you. I ain't forget you. All right, so now I have, let me just show you the NPC first. All of these, all these different sounds are now gonna be routed. Oh, let me make sure I do it over here too. So now I set it up on Ableton Live, the way it needs to be set up. Now you need to set up the NPC. So the NPC, I have the kick going at three and four. Three and four. The snare, I'm gonna have to go to five and six. Hi-hats, seven and eight, I'm gonna keep going. All right, now I have three bass notes here. I'm gonna route those all to the same channel because it doesn't make sense to route three different bass notes to three different outputs just to prove a point. It, you, you'll see the point when I'm done. So 27 to 28, this one will go to 27 to 28 too. This one will go to 27 and 28 also. So now we're set up on the NPC. Each note is going to a different, ooh, sorry. So now I have it so that Ableton Live is set up to monitor the NPC's uh, output coming in. So you should now see all of these faders bouncing up, not faders, but the, the meters bouncing up and down here. This the, is this the bass track.
Now what you could do is, if you want, you can set up Ableton to record. Let me make sure that everything's set up right. I think this is supposed to be set to off. Now, let's see. If I hit record, it should work, right? Yeah, it would actually work if I <laughs> set the, put the ready record on each track. Just not the NPC track. So yeah, just make sure you, you arm your tracks to record first. And then we're going to record this whole beat out. Well, no, I'm not going to record the whole beat out. I'm just going to show you the, you know, what you can do as far as tracking, as far as tracking it out and saving it as stems. Okay, now I should be able to record. Okay, so something happened where all of them didn't track out. Oh, yes, they did. No, they all tracked out. It just didn't show me at the beginning. Okay, so yeah, this is how you track out your beat. Now, the last couple tracks, like I said before, they weren't going to have anything because I wasn't going to put three different bass notes on three different tracks. But as you can see, you have now your, your wave file. And you could chop this up, slice it, dice it however you like, rearrange it. And um, yeah. What I would do after this point, though, I would take these all out and ready record. At this point. And take the input monitoring to off. I should have did it with the other tracks too. With the input monitoring off, now you'll be just listening to the actual WAV file coming from Ableton Live. Okay. So turn the monitoring off. second all right there we go so now turn this off too so now when i play it back all right well you get the point <laughs> my computer's trying to run a lot at the same time so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful. Oh, before you even shut down anything, let me, let me, before you shut down anything, so that you don't have to do all of this stuff again, because you don't want to have to, you don't want to have to set this up every time you want to, you know, you don't want to set this up every time you want to have a track out a beat from the NPC to your Ableton Live. So what you want to do, you want to save this as a template. You want to come up here where it says Live, Excuse me, file. 
You want to save live set as. And then you can put it anywhere in any folder. Just type in MPC template, hit save, and it'll. you can save it to your hard drive as, you know, as one of your templates. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's, how, that's my workflow from Ableton Live and the MPC uh, software. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you found it useful. If you did, please click the like button. Please share it with your friends. Uh, please comment below in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. And, um, yeah, if it's your first time here, make sure you go grab my free drum kit. It'll be the first link in the description below. Go grab that real quick. And if you've been here before, go in the description. Check out Loop Cloud and Loop Masters if you need some drums that are hitting and you need high-quality sounds to, from the jump, all right? So, yeah, Loop Cloud, Loop Masters. Check them out both. Both links are in the description below. That's for everyone. But uh, free drum kit is for the first timers. Come get your free drum kit. That's on me. And uh, let me know what you think about the drum kit, all right? It's your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips, and I'm out. Peace.